What is up, my friend? Welcome to episode number 57 of the Anthony China Mix podcast. This is another Sunday Sermon Edition. And I thought today we'd dive into some conscious leadership stuff and talk about why we must become as little children. If you've ever wanted to know the secret to more freedom, joy, and happiness each and every day, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to the Anthony John Amix podcast, the one and only podcast designed to help you become unstoppable in life and business. My name is Anthony John Amix. My friends call me AJ. And my goal with this podcast is to help you remember who you truly are so you can maintain your center in the chaos, embody your potential, and unlock freedom in your life and business. That being said, let's get into today's show. All right, welcome back. Before we hop into today's topic, I don't know if you actually know this or not, but I actually carve out some time each week to talk with people who feel stuck or stalled out in their life or their business, and they're ready for a breakthrough to create that next level of success in their life. I believe I have a few spots open to talk with people, and you can go to talkwithaj.com to book a time to talk with me. During these breakthrough sessions, we'll explore where you're at, where you wanna go, and find the thing that's keeping you held back. And at the end of that conversation, if you want some help overcoming that thing we'll talk about how to make it happen you can grab your time to talk by going to talkwithaj.com now with that being said let's talk about why we must become as little children I always remember that verse from Sunday school you've probably heard it before the one from Matthew 18 3 when Jesus said truly I tell you unless you change and become like that of little children you will never enter the kingdom of heaven now, I believe a lot of people have taken this to mean like in some like afterlife or whatever. Yet I want you to consider the kingdom of heaven may be nothing more than our ability to experience peace and happiness and fulfillment here and now. You know, recently my daughter, she just turned 19 months old. She runs like a little quail. And I'm learning that she just loves exploring nature and being outside. I mean, she just loves it. Now, we live in a condo that backs up to one of the nature preserves here in North Dallas, and it's a beautiful place. And each day, my daughter and I, we walk in the nature preserve. And each and every single day, she finds all kinds of cool things, snails and little ball bugs or little sticks or rocks or dandelions. I mean, all kinds of stuff. She sees like little tiny ants on the ground. She sees the planes flying overhead, and she just like goes through life with so much wonder and awe. Now, this has gotten me to start thinking about why is it that when we are older, we seem to forget how to be that curious and live in a state of wonder and awe? Like, why do we believe that we cannot be open to the joy of everyday life? You know, I feel like for myself, I think for a lot of other people, we take it for granted, you know. Like we get caught up in the hustle and bustle of every single day. We get carried up away running businesses or taking care of families or the newest Netflix show. And we just kind of forget. It's like we've programmed our minds to be so serious and so responsible. Yet I want to remind you, as my daughter did, there is a place in this world for wonder and awe regardless of how old you are. And I know you've probably heard of the art of gratitude or appreciation. And I think most people try to do that type of stuff in such like a mechanical or a conceptual way. It's like they pull out their journal and they write all the things that they're grateful for, which is great. And it may help them to start become more aware of what to be grateful for. But the question is, is do they really feel grateful like deep down into their soul, into their bones. It hasn't been my experience. So one of the best ways I've found to practice the art of gratitude is to start appreciating the small things in life every single day. I mean, just like my daughter, like when walking, take the time to notice the ants and the ball bugs, to get down and be with them, to look at them, to stare at them. Like, choose to be in a state of awe and wonder. And by doing so, I know you'll start to experience gratitude and appreciation, like at a soul level, rather than just writing about it. I also know that when you do this, you start to train your mind to be more aware and genuinely grateful for the smaller and smaller things every single day. And you start to embody the feelings of gratitude, the feelings of appreciation. 
And as a result, you start to experience more peace and happiness and fulfillment throughout your days. Now, this, my friend, is what I believe Jesus may have been attempting to tell us when he said we must become like little children to enter the kingdom of heaven. You must live in a state of awe and wonder to experience the kingdom of heaven here and now. I know if you get what I'm telling you here today, you'll experience more freedom and less stress during your day-to-day life. I also know that when practiced over time, the things you thought would be a big problem for you, they start to become smaller and smaller and smaller problems. And your ability to navigate and lead during challenging times becomes even easier. So my invitation to you this day is this. Where in your life are you being too busy to see the tiny things that are going extremely well for you right now? And how might stopping to smell the roses every now and then allow you to unlock a new level of genuine appreciation and happiness every day? And what impact would this have on your life and in your business in a positive way? Well, my friend, that's going to do it for this episode of the Anthony John Amos podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode and inspired you in some way, I'd love to hear about it and know like what was your biggest takeaway? Simply take a screenshot of you listening on your device, post it over on Instagram stories, and tag me at AJ Amix. Just on Instagram, tag me at AJ Amix. That's my Instagram handle. So thank you so much for being here today. Until next time, my friend, I'm out. Peace. Well, that's all I've got for this episode of the Anthony John Amix podcast. But we have plenty more to help you become unstoppable in life and business. So head on over to AJAMix.com for exclusive resources, information, and tools to help you break through to a new level of freedom, purpose, and success. I look forward to having you back for the next episode. Bye for now.